what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Dom um, and this is Faith Family Homestead I just got back from a plant sale in Colombia they have an annual plant sale for like four days today was the first day and a friend and I went and I picked up some flowers because um, a lot of, if you've been around here, a lot of the zinnia seeds that I planted from my packs did not germinate. I don't know what's up with that. Um, as well as some other seeds that were, I just tried to plant and I didn't get really good germination. Um, like I've tried to plant artichoke like two years in a row and have not been able to get any seeds to germinate. So I picked up four artichoke plants and they were $3 each. Um, I picked up some herbs like this one is a variegated I think thyme. It's really windy today. It was storming all day today um, and so it's still really windy. I picked up a strawberry mint and it really does have like a strawberry hint to it. I also picked up a pineapple mint. Two blue spice eucalyptus and then Ooh. amaranth uh, I picked up a gumfrina cosmos celosia zinnias and calendula back there if this is super windy, I'm probably just gonna do a voiceover. Um, I know where some of this stuff is going. I don't know where the artichoke is going, but I am gonna plant these two amaranth because I was gonna start amaranth from seed and, I'm, and I probably still am because this is just a red amaranth, but I have seeds for a hot biscuit. Um, love true, what's it called? Love lies bleeding. Um, I think I have like five different amaranth seeds. So I'm gonna plant, amaranth actually repels um, or it's actually a trap crop for like cucumber, anything in the cucumber family. The first year I planted it, many, many years ago, I didn't know that. I just sprinkled out a, what was it? One of those uh, seed packs that have a lot of different seeds in it. And it grew really tall and I thought it was a sunflower and the Japanese beetles were eating it and it was planted right next to my cucumber. And it, But it left my cucumbers alone and that's when I realized that it was amaranth when it tasseled and that uh, cucumber beetles prefer amaranth over cucumbers so ever since then I've tried to have it in my garden I missed a chance to start seeds indoors and so I'm gonna plant I still am gonna plant seeds but straight into the garden but I thought having these two amaranth at the sides of my cucumbers um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna plant I'm gonna go ahead and get these seeds planted into the ground in probably one whole bed with the exception of the mint and the artich artichoke because i'm going to plant those somewhere else so let's go ahead and we'll get them planted this is actually the hoop where i have cucumbers on either side and i just saw that i have actually a burgundy okra planted in the corner of each one right next to the cucumbers and i know that the okra is going to get really really big so what i'm thinking is you know what and I just remembered that even on some of the other corners of my hoops I planted sunflower from seeds so I think what I'm gonna do is put this at least this one amaranth instead of being in the corner right here because that's where the okra I'm gonna put it on the opposite end of the corner I am going to be changing the width of these beds and making them wider. Oh my goodness, Shadow, my garden kitty, is going to be out here rubbing on me. Um, but for now, I think I'm gonna plant it on the inside. It's fine planting it on the inside. This was actually the bed that I was thinking about um, putting all of the flowers in anyway. And so it seems only fair to just go ahead and put the amaranth here. You can tell it's been in this pot a long time because it is really wired around. So 
I planted that one down there, I'm just going to go ahead and plant this other one at the opposite end of the bed. I have cardboard here and I can easily break it and I have this um, horse manure that I put on top but I don't want to remove the cardboard because it is holding in the weeds. I was already planning on planting flowers here but I was going to plant them from seed but now that I went and got these already they were in six packs Ooh, for five dollars i was trying to get this this there's like <laughs> so where the cardboard lifted there's grass that has grown through so i was trying to pull it out so that If you watch my vlog, my last vlog, I was talking about changing these beds. A lot of the beds are breaking apart. And so I am going to work on changing all these beds. Right now they're three by 15. Ooh. Whoa. And I'm gonna work on changing them to be uh, four by 16, which means I, ooh. It's going to help me from going from the weeds growing up the side of the bed. And what I'm going to do is put down cardboard in the corners like this once I get all the weeds out. And, and that way when the new beds come out further, they'll have a good start to not have weeds growing up in the bed. Because all the spots where I have cardboard down and it's a thick layer, you, I can lift it and all of those weeds are dead you can see and it just has nice moist soil underneath so anyway enough about that what i'm gonna do is plant i have 12 zinnias i'm gonna plant those at the back row and then i'm gonna work my way up to the front with the shortest so i think i'm gonna do zinnias um celosia calendula and then cosmos we shall see Yay, I got this whole bed planted. I tried to plant them with the spacing that I would use if I like burned holes. So I tried to use a, I did use a block format. So there's like two and then one in the inside and then two and then one on the inside. I'll show you what I mean up close. But I have my one single amaranth right there. And then the other one is all the way down on that end. But then I have zinnias because they're tall and then I went to celosia then in front of that I went to calendula then I went to celosia again and then I have my cosmos gumfrina and some more celosia but the only thing that I'm left with now besides my herbs which the two mint I'm gonna put in and the art well the two mint I'm gonna put in a grow bag because I don't know where I would want that to take over and the ground cover that's taken over that bed that I keep calling summer savory is actually penny royal I've been calling it the wrong name I think I mislabeled it when I planted in the ground because it definitely said uh, summer savory because I have a video where I planted it out calling summer savory what are you doing huh? what happened and so um but i just looked it up because it always smelled very strong and minty and that's penny royal and i planted the oregano in my i think my last video i moved it over or two videos ago i moved it over to that bed so with these two eucalyptus i think they're silver dollar i think is the eucalyptus i got i'm actually thinking about putting it in that bed along with i did get a time as well i think that's what i'm gonna do let's go over there and put it in the ground
I walked past my green stalk and just pulled this plant out. I'm going to plant since I'm thinking about turning this whole bed into just a herb bed since the summer savings are taking over. I put the oregano here. This is thyme. Um, I have the stevia here. I have the lemon thyme I just planted in here, the eucalyptus. So, and I've been thinking about moving my lavender that's planted in the log raised bed. And I might go ahead and do that, but I have this, I have this thyme and this, I think I have sage inside the green stalk. And I just pulled this out. There's still actually one part of the green stalk that still has this in it. And I'm gonna try and pull the sage as well and plant it right into the ground and see what happens. There's like some dots here. Well, some of it is grass, but then there's also, I had some zinnias that sprouted and, oh, there's actually a little spot here that says creeping thyme. So I don't know if that's going, and it does have a little sprig. I don't want to put this, um, this thyme in between the two eucalyptus. Cause I don't know how big the eucalyptus is going to get. I saw that it said plant spacing i think it said 18 inches so i'm kind of worried that if i plant something in the middle of it hmm, maybe i'll just plant it here where's all this grass i'll just dig out the weeds plant the It's absolutely crazy that some spots where I put down the cardboard, no weeds came through, but then there's other spots like this one that has a thick layer of cardboard and I can still see the cardboard where it hasn't broke down. It, um, there's no weeds growing through it right here. But then there's other spots where I just poke through the cardboard and obviously there's weeds in here trying to grow through or not trying, they have grown through the cardboard. So I definitely don't know if that board is gonna survive. My son was cutting grass and I saw it growing in the lawn. So I just went and dug it up. It was between the fence and the outside of our property. And so I didn't get very much roots, but we shall see. If it dies, you know, it's fine. It was gonna, you know, it was on the outside of my property where right in the middle to mow. Um, but I am gonna, I use, I'm using this box that I got from, um, what is this from? From where the strawberries came. And it's already been outside and super moist. And I'm just going to put it all down through here where weeds are trying to grow up through and i think i have a other another few boxes and i'm going to put it around i have some bag soil that i got from the store and i'm putting it all down through here to keep weeds from growing and i'm going to put soil right on top of it I could probably use one piece to go through here. This is where I planted the creeping thyme from seed and you can see how tiny it is. But I'm gonna leave it there and see what it does. So now I have a full bed. This is the pineapple, I mean the variegated thyme, the lemon thyme. I have my stevia there, that's the oregano I transplanted. This right here is a flower, but I don't know what flower it was, and I didn't know where I wanted to put it when I moved it out of a bed, so I put it here and here. Here's all the pennyroyal taking over. So now we have the eucalyptus, this borage, the creeping thyme, dill, sage, and a regular thyme. Oh yeah, and I planted a hyssop here, and I think that's what that is so I'm gonna pull these weeds and plant so what I did went ahead and did was add cardboard on this side of the garden since this is where weeds was growing put some garden soil on top so 
I'll give this some time to decompose and then I'll plant maybe I'll put my rosemary here once this decomposes maybe by next season but right now I have my uh, hyssop back there that's small that I planted from seed I have my sage thyme dill creeping thyme that I planted from seed we'll see how it does the borage I dug up I don't know if it's gonna live I have my two eucalyptus I just got um, obviously this is a weed that I need to dig up then we have this is penny royal I have my pineapple um, what is this pineapple thyme stevia my oregano and then my two flowers that I transplanted here so they're looking a little yellow but all in all the bed looks amazing I do have my straw that I'm going to put on this bed and between this bed this is where we planted all of the flowers I still have that half of the bed to plant and I'll probably plant those with um, because I tomorrow maybe I'm going to this is probably gonna be the first bed that I change into a 4 by 16 foot bed right now it's a 3 by 15 and so I'm not worried about the overage or anything like that or this penny royal that's grown into the or coming out sprawling into the bed because I'm gonna turn this bed into a um, I'm gonna turn this bed into a bigger bed it's gonna be one foot longer so I'm gonna do six inches it's gonna have six inches longer on either side so six inches longer that way and then maybe six inches um, longer into this pathway and then six inches wide either way and that's gonna be for all of my beds but right now I'm gonna go ahead get the straw down and then the last thing which I probably um, which I'll have to do is the peppermints I'm not gonna worry about the artichokes today because I have to think more in detail for that because they're perennial they'll get really big and keep coming back but the mint I know I'm gonna plant in a grow bag kind of like these grow bags that I have potatoes growing in last but not least I'm gonna put these two mint inside this grow bag because I don't know and I don't know where I want this grow bag so I'm just going to plant the two mint in here one strawberry mint one's pineapple mint and my friend gave me a piece of her chocolate mint there's the green stock box in there the green stock box my friend gave me a piece of her chocolate mint and she took a piece of my pineapple mint and when I came home I didn't want it to dry out and so I planted it I just stuck it in the ground um, but I'm gonna go get it and stick it in this box or this not this box this uh, container and I'll have three different types of mint in here because the mint the mint that I'm growing it's growing alongside my roses and where I stuck the chocolate mint was just in here when I walked in because I didn't know how long I was going to be before I I didn't know how long I was gonna be before I got it into the ground and I didn't want it to dry out but now I have it I'm actually gonna move that one over a little bit and I'm gonna water this in really good and hopefully this chocolate mint survives 